good evening and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to talk about antiparticles and more importantly the definitions you need to know. Now if you're in exam an antiparticle is a particle that has the same mass as something but the opposite charge, the opposite lepton and baryon number. And the reason antiparticles have to exist is all to do with Einstein and all looking about energy that we can conserve mass and energy in the universe but charge also has to be conserved so when we look at particles like protons they we can have an, another uh, another proton an antiproton but the charge has to be opposite to be able to conserve charge in the universe and so it's really important that you realize that antiparticles have the same mass but opposite charge and opposite um, lepton and baryon number so, I'll give you an example. The normal particle for a proton is the letter P. It has a charge of plus one. And its baryon number, of course, also is plus one. Its antiparticle, the antiproton, has a little line above it. I imagine it's like an evil top hat. Imagine like a per person kidnapping the woman, sticking on the train tracks, twiddling their moustache. Um, wearing a top hat, that's how I imagine it. If it's got a line above it, it means it's an antiparticle. It has minus one charge and a minus one baryon number. An electron normally has a negative charge and a plus, plus one lepton number, but it's positron, it's antiparticle is known as a positron. It has a charge of plus one and a lepton number of minus one. I'll give you another example of a particle. We'll do a neutrino. We'll do an electron neutrino. It has no charge. It has no lepton, it has positive one lepton number. Its antiparticle has this line across it. It still has no charge, but its lepton number changes. We can do neutrons, zero charge, plus one baryon number. The anti-neutron has still got zero charge and minus one baryon number. It is important that you're able to identify from looking at it if this is a proto if it's a normal particle or an antiparticle in a previous video about the pa particle family tree i talked about all of these leptons having a negative charge apart of course from the neutrinos so if you start seeing a positive muon you know it is an antiparticle when we start looking at conservation this is when this information will come in important and it really comes into its own when you're trying to balance sides of equations. So this is the definition of an antiparticle. And these are some examples of um, their particle and their antiparticle um, sibling, if you will. <laughs> 